Identity. The key to walking in power and passion in the kingdom of God is knowing your identity in Jesus Christ. And Jesus himself is the supreme example of this truth. Ten times in the Bible, it's recorded where Jesus used the words, I am. And nine of those times, he followed the statement, I am, with a different facet of his own identity. And I deduce from this that Jesus was often and constantly verbalizing who he was to his disciples and to the world around him. You can find these statements of Jesus in the Gospel of John between chapters 6 and 16, in Revelation chapter 1 and Revelation chapter 21. And just so you know and can hear that, here they are. Jesus said, I tell you the truth, before Abraham was, I am. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus said, I am the door for the sheep. Whoever enters by me will be saved. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will never die. Jesus said, I am the true vine. If you abide in me, you will bear much fruit. Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the Omega. And Jesus said, I am the bright and morning star. Identity was a central theme of the ministry of Jesus Christ. He knew it, he spoke it, and he lived it. And he gave him power and passion and effectiveness in his ministry. The importance of this is reiterated in the baptism of Jesus. When Jesus came out of the water, we're told that a cloud came and a voice out of the cloud spoke to Jesus. And the cloud, the voice in the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. The Father, as Jesus began his ministry, spoke into his Son's identity. Immediately, Jesus was taken into the wilderness for 40 days, where he fasted and prayed and did spiritual warfare. And we're told in Matthew chapter 4 that the very first temptation of the devil in the wilderness related to Jesus' identity. The devil came to Jesus and the devil said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. The enemy of Jesus targeted his identity in the first temptation by saying, If you are the Son of God. Now the enemy of Jesus, the devil, is also our enemy, and he is constantly striking at our identity. He wants to steal our effectiveness, he wants to darken our witness, he wants to dampen our passion. And very often he does that by proposing to us and presenting to us a false identity or a sense of no identity at all. Now I want you to understand that what you do flows out of who you are. Let me say that again, what you do flows out of who you are. And so to live properly in the kingdom of God, you need to know who you are in Jesus Christ. A nurse cares for her patients. A mother nurtures her children. A prophet receives the word of the Lord and speaks it to people. And a disciple of Jesus Christ follows, learns, and imitates Jesus. Again, a follower of Jesus Christ, a sheep, if you will, a son of God, a learner, follows, learns, and imitates. Now, as a disciple of Jesus Christ and a son of God, I've studied my identity in the scriptures. I've sought personal prophecies where others have spoken into my life. I've observed God's creation and God's interaction with people in the Bible and in my life. And I have identified my identity in Jesus Christ. And I have written eight statements that are I am statements. I'm not claiming to be God. 
But I use the word I am as Jesus did as an imitator of him. And here they are. I am the light of the world. I am one with Jesus Christ, the light and fire of God. The word says that I shine as a star in the midst of a corrupt and perverse generation. I am a son of the living God. I was born by his decision. I was redeemed by his work at Calvary. I am a prophet to the nation. I am a voice. I am a watchman for Israel. I stand day and night before the throne of God, and I intercede for the nation of Israel according to the scriptures. I am the tabernacle of David. The Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ lives in me, and personally I am a house of prayer. I am a saint, and I am a friend of God. I am the bride of Christ. Jesus is preparing me for all eternity. I am an eagle in God's kingdom. I rely upon the Spirit's wind for supernatural strength and supernatural vision. I am a beauty realm breaker, a throne room watchman. I perceive from heaven what God wants to release on planet earth, and I stand with God until breakthrough is manifested. Now that's a lot, and that's not your identity, that's my identity. But you get the example from what Jesus said and, and what I've written and spoke. Identi identity is important. It says in the Bible, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. As a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Our thinking determines who we are and what we do. And Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So Jesus says we're to develop our heart and our character and then speak what's in there into the atmosphere and to other people. And we have to realize that when we're speaking things, we're speaking to humans, we're speaking to angels, we're speaking to demons, and we're speaking to our Heavenly Father. And ultimately, when we say things out loud, we're speaking into our own ears. And we know that in Romans 10, we're told, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So I want to exhort you to do what I've done. I want, you, I want to exhort you to study. Seek personal prophecies. Write out I am statements about yourself, and then declare them daily. You will see that as you do this, your passion for Christ and His kingdom will increase. You will see His power manifesting in your life, and you will have greater focus and greater clarity about who you are and why you're here.